Let's talk about the Apple Watch for a moment in today's video and let's make a review about the WatchOS 4.2 right now. Let's get started. What's going on guys? This is Apple Facts channel here and as I mentioned we're going to be talking about the Apple Watch and the WatchOS 4.2. As you can see this is my iPhone rocking the brand new wallpaper that Apple included in the iOS 11.2 that has just been released by Apple. And if you haven't watched that video, you can find it in the description of this video. I mean, it will be linked there, so make sure to watch it if you haven't already. So if I enter the watch application on my iPhone, you can see that here we have the batch indicating that there is one software update. So let's take a look at it. And as you can see, it has already been downloaded. So all we have to do now is click on install. But the battery isn't enough on the Apple Watch, the installation process has already started. And now we're gonna have to wait until everything will be finished. I know that these days there are so many different software updates that the Apple keeps pushing out. I mean, there has just been the iOS 11.2, which actually is very connected with this watchOS 4.2, so there are some similar features and similar stuff, I'll talk about that later in the video, but it is really like connected together. The Apple Watch has been updated right now, as you can see this pop-up right here, and the watchOS 4.2 is actually the software that is up to date. So I can leave the iPhone aside and let's take a look at the Apple Watch, and what is basically new in this version. So first of all, when I take a look at it, I just cannot see any bigger changes in the user interface because there are pretty much no visible changes. It's not the biggest update. So the first change is actually present in the messages app. So let's open it up. When I click on create new message, you can see that we have these usual options. For example, to scribble, to use this uh, like hard ray or to dictate. And in the middle, we have the emoji tab. So let's click on it. And as you can see, we have so many new emojis in here. I mean, there are some new included in this version of watchOS. So we can see that here are all of the brand new emojis. So for example, this is like the throwing up face is the new one that hasn't been here before. So we can send this one to anyone you want. We also have like the old emojis, but that have been redesigned. For example, if, I, if you remember or if you watch the 11.2 on the iPhone 10 video, I, I actually mentioned that there is a brand new emoji. It was not the brand new one, but the design of that old emoji was actually changed. So the scotch emoji has also been updated on the Apple Watch. So not only on the iPhone, and I really like it that Apple is consistent with these emojis and their operating systems. And as you can see, the very same design is present here as well. So not only they changed it on the iPhone, it has also been changed on the Apple Watch. This right here may actually appear kind of familiar to you, to be honest, because this is the new feature that Apple introduced in the iOS 11.2. And because I already mentioned that the 11.2 of the iOS is connected with the watchOS 4.2, this feature is also present on the Apple Watch. Pretty much the very same feature is present on the Apple Watch. And if you live within the United States, you're going to be able to send money. You know, like if you have set up the Apple Pay, you're going to be able to request money, send money, and of course receive money using Apple Pay. And all you have to do is like to have your Apple Watch on your wrist. And you can do it right there. So it's very easy. If I go inside of photos really quickly here, you can see that it is also included in the about this update section of the software update of the watchOS 4.2. So as you can see, this is the first feature mentioned in the update description. So as you can see, you can send, request and receive money from friends and family with Apple Pay Cash in messages or by asking Siri. But as you can see in the brackets right there, you can see that it is US only. And besides that, there are some additional features or some additional bug fixes included in this update. So for example, this one looks kind of interesting. So it resolves an issue when Apple Watch would sometimes restore when asking Siri about the weather. But besides the things that I have mentioned right in the video, there isn't pretty much anything else that has been included in this version of watchOS. And that would actually be it in terms of the watchOS 4.2. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this quick informative video about the Apple Watch. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel because I try to create similar content and you may be interested in that as well. So have a nice day and see you in the next one.